Welcome to The Daily Question. This is your guide to greatness, Troy Hoffman, where we help you find, follow, and finish your course of destiny by asking you simple questions that bring profound insight and transformation to your life. So the question of the day is this, how do you know when to pivot? And this is another great question for actually those who are entrepreneurs and those who are running companies because anybody running anything, there's areas in your company guaranteed where you're gonna need to pivot. You need to shift the energy from one thing to another. You need to figure out you're kind of doing this niche of an industry, you may need to add in another niche of the industry. And when do you choose to do this? I don't think there's a formula, unfortunately. I think, again, we go back to that inner voice that's guiding you and, and listening to that. Get First, get away from everything else. Get away from all the people, all the opinions. Make sure you get good coaching, good consultants, good counsel. Again, remember what counsel is? Counsel is from people that have been there, done that, and doing something far greater than you. And, and once you have that, once you have the data going on in your business, you know, you're clear on what's happening in your business. Sales are dropping. The industry's shifting. The market's changing. New laws are coming out. You know, home, home building's going up. Banking's changing. Whatever industry you are in currently, the, 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 the speaker world, whatever it is, you're in building in the tech world, your new software's coming out, uh, new giants doing something else, whatever the data is you have, then you get away from everybody. Because in the end, you're going to have to make this decision. You're going to want to have other people speak into your life. Like every great leader, I feel like almost wants someone to speak in their life, but they also know too that they're the ones that has to make the decision. So you're going to have to get alone. You're going to have to get quiet. You're going to have to get by yourself and literally sit still enough so you let go of all the thoughts and you're going to have to start writing out your thoughts. And the quote is this, writing clarifies thought. And I learned this from a gentleman by the name of Scott DeLong. He is wise beyond his years and he kept preaching this to me. And every time I was frustrated, every time I was like, I was, I was just rambling on about a subject, rambling on about a problem. He's like, Troy, have you written this out? What is the problem and what are the solutions? And I was like, no. And then he's like, then I'd come back to him again. Well, I haven't had time for that. It's not a big deal. I just want to talk it out. No, he's like, Go and journal this out. And when you take the time to journal by yourself, you actually write out all the problems and keep writing till you're done. And then take the big mess that you've got and can you, can you shorten it down? Can you get even more clear on the facts? So number one is you've got to get clear on the facts. Number two, you've got to be able to write out the facts. Get clear on writing out what the problem is. And then three, what are the feelings around the facts that you're dealing with, are they real? Are they fake? Are they, is it fear? Is it false evidence appearing real? Is it something that you are just making up as a big problem or something that's a challenge in your head? So you get clear on the facts. You're addressing the feelings. You're writing all of this out at the same time. And then you're getting clear on the focus. Like what is the specific area that you really need to focus on? Not your whole business is a disaster. Oh my God, my whole business is a disaster. Well, what specifically is? Well, sales aren't going great. Well, what specifically about sales isn't going great? Well, we lost this one job. And it's like, you got all emotion. You said your whole company is going down because you lost one job. So the, the question is, is the story you're telling yourself true, number one? And, and getting clear on what that is. And as you're writing this out, your, your mind starts shifting like, oh, then you want to get clear after the facts, after the feelings, after you get clear on the focus, what is the fruit that you want? Like, what does that end result look like? Where are you going? You start writing out the possibilities and you're retraining your mind. Now your mind is focusing on what is possible. Not all the negatives. Your mind's now focusing on what is possible for you, what is possible for your business, and what is possible in your life. And then you're, you're training your mind to shift gears from the negative and then focusing on all the problems. Now your subconscious and your mind and your reticular activating system is now focusing to find the answer to get you the result of the fruit that you want in your life. So when you go through this process, get clear 
and write it out. I challenge you today, get out your journal, find whatever challenge you have, get clear on the facts, get clear about the feelings you're feeling about and asking yourself, is it true? Then get clear on the focus, like what specifically is the issue? And they get clear on the outcomes that you want and what the possibilities are. And I guarantee that will help you in your choice of should I pivot or should I not? Thank you for opening up and allowing me to speak into your life. If you are interested in submitting a question, you can go to troyhoffman.com forward slash daily question and enter any question that you'd love answered on this show. Also, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Hoffman Troy or on Facebook at Troy Hoffman. Also, if you want email updates on events and programs that we're offering, please go to TroyHoffman.com, fill out your name and email address, and you'll be getting uh, emails from us on our upcoming events. Now, go and live your destiny.